Hello guys, welcome to Gloria today. Today I'm gonna show you how to do the margarita pizza. Okay, now we start to do our pizza dough. We take a big bowl, we put the salt inside, and we put all the water. I wash my hand before. We start to mix the salt and we're gonna melt the salt inside the water. Our salt now is melted. We start to add the flour, not the whole quantity, just half. Okay. We take our fresh yeast we put in the hand with a little bit of flour. And we start mixing all the ingredients. Now we have put the yeast inside our dough and the rest of the flour. We split this another time in half and we add the sugar And we start to mix in with the hand. The best part, I love this part. We put our last ingredients, of course the olive oil. We mix a little bit. And we add the rest of our flour. Now uh, we had the last part of flour in our dough, we can start to work in the dough in the table. This is the best part, everyone loves to play with the play dough. As you can see, our pizza dough starts to take form. We need to work with our pizza dough until become really smooth. We need to play a lot. Of course, if the pizza dough stick a little bit on the table, we can help you with a little bit of flour. And gonna be better. We can roll in a little bit our pizza dough and give this half on the half and press. As you can see I can put a lot of flour, just, just a little bit. That's it guys, our pizza dough is ready. We put uh, the dough in a big bowl and uh, we cover with a cling film for all the time he need. With this recipe we can do uh, four bowls uh, of 500 grams of pizza. We start cutting in half our pizza dough. We work our dough like this. We try to put inside and after this we close our bowl and it's ready to sleep again already one hour. Now we have our four bowls of pizza. We just rest for one hour just to keep the time to relax the, the pizza dough. Our pizza dough is ready to use, it's quite relaxed. We take a little bit of flour and we put on the table. We press on the center to push the hair on the edges. 
from both sides. Okay, now our pizza is ready to garnish. The very important thing is to have the best ingredient to put in your pizza. We have the tomato sauce. This tomato sauce comes straight from Naples and they do it with San Marzano tomato. It's the best quality for, this, for the tomato sauce. After we have our mozzarella cheese, this mozzarella comes straight from Naples too. And uh, the important thing is very juicy, very creamy. You can stop to eat it. Of course, some fresh basil leaves and olive oil. We start to put one spoon and half in our pizza. Oopsie. We put some basil leaves. I prefer to have the cooked basil, not the, the fresh one. We cook the, the basil with all the ingredients. Our mozzarella cheese. Don't be shy. Put the good quantity. And at the end, a little touch of olive oil. Just a twist. Now we cook our pizza in a beautiful Rolls Royce of the oven. Of course, if you don't have a real pizza oven at home, you can cook your pizza in the normal oven and you can set the temperature like 250 degrees or 300 if you, can, if you have a very good oven. Just for 6-7 minutes. Now our pizza now is ready, it's crunchy and soft inside the cornicione. The best part of the recipe now is the tasting. We cut our pizza and we enjoy. So guys, today I show you how to do the margherita. Margherita is the simple one. Full of taste, full of good ingredients, but you can customize your pizza wherever you want with some vegetables, zucchini, pepperoni, ham, spinach, lot of vegetables, lot of things to put. But one thing, remember, don't put pineapple in pizza. 